taking an attitude that's more advanced and deals with the location of the populations is going to be essential. The second is around technology and the role that new kinds of systems, new kinds of wastewater treatment, new kinds of floodgates, new kinds of uh, communication systems are essential. So for example, um, finding a way to model and quickly understand where flood risk will hit vulnerable populations, linking that with messaging systems. That kind of technology is already deployed, helping um, increase yields in agriculture in Africa, for example. How do you bring those kinds of advances to help vulnerable populations? Um, the third is around finance, and we're seeing nearly billion dollar funds that are forming around investing in new kinds of infrastructure that bring a more holistic perspective as Adam had just alluded to being an essential part of the problem. And finally, and probably most importantly, is really the role of, of leadership and governance. And the, there's no sub substitute for having a mayor like a Bloomberg in New York that gets up and says, hey, this really matters, and catalyzing a resilience plan and helping the Rockefeller start a 100 resilient cities plan. So that, that role of leadership really comes down to you know, each of us and, and the individuals that we empower to take the reins of, of our cities or of our institutions.